somewhere along the line. I don't know when it happened. We murdered our own roles on the show, and we're the stars of the show, so I don't really understand how that happens. Because probably in Hollywood, when you get kicked off a show, it's some executive or the producer or something. We did it to ourselves. So that's why I'm proposing we change the name of our website show to the biggest rejects who are losers. I think that's us. to us what along happened? the lines of our videos we became too concentrated on giving information which is good you know it's good to give information give people you know tools for success but we forgot to talk about us and include ourselves in our own videos and one of the main things about this is using our own lives as the step for uh, the platform so, so to speak to let our obesity butt kick and light shine to the whole world and we don't do that anymore so what we've got to figure out is how to have a balance of information for you but include our story in it because after all we wanted to be the first to inspire people to do the same thing themselves what was the feeling inside when you figured out that we had picked ourselves off of our own show. A little bit of shame. Like when you're drying off in the shower and somebody busts through the door and you're standing there with your butt showing them to them and you got a flabby butt or something. And they see it and they go, that's really wrinkly. So you feel shameful about it, you know. Even though it's not your fault, you know, your parents, they're the ones that made you. And it's just simply genetics, but it's sometimes you just you feel shameful, you know. <laughs> so I, when you figured out that we had kicked ourselves off of our own show, did you feel like there was hope? Was there hope to bring it back? Sort of like when you, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, there is hope. We're bringing it back today. If we were, th this just make an analogy here, okay? You can call us the Justin Timberlakes of obesity, because we bring a sexy back, and we bring it back to our show. I'd like to thank you for your time in the interview today. No problem. You know, we're bringing ourselves back to our videos. You know, I just had a question, you know, what happened? Well, I'm going to decide to take the serious route and say that in an effort to inspire everybody to lose weight, and give as much information as possible. Um, I think we lost ourselves. And uh, the one thing we really wanted to do was inspire people by our story, but for some reason we took ourselves out of the story and just decided to give information and, and humor. And when we all when we we had that talk that night and said, "What happened to us?" I think it all came from that conversation with Dad. That here we are putting our heart out for you, Dad, and you just weren't able to take us serious. And maybe it's because we don't share enough of our own story and struggles. Well, here's the thing. Can that, we bring uh, it back? Yeah. Yeah, it's coming back. And this is why. In all seriousness, this is why. Um, I still have the feeling in my heart that if... I can lose weight, if I could be healthy, um, being married, being the father of nine kids, uh, working a full-time job, getting ready to coach baseball, with all these things that are in my life, if I can find the time and energy to be healthy, then anybody can. Um, not only do I have those, all these kids, but three of them are autistic. Sometimes it just flat out wears you down mentally. But I think if I can do it with my partner, you, Josh, 
If I can do it, then I can inspire you to do it. I want to tell you my story because I want you to be inspired and say if Quincy can do it with all these different obstacles in life, then I know I can do it and I know that I'm worth doing it for. So that was what was important to me. When we got on, the day we sat down in front of those reporters at the newspaper, we tried out for the biggest loser, Josh. They cut deep right to the heart and said, why are you going to do this? And we said, we want to inspire people to get their life back. And I think personally, and this is something I've learned recently, is those areas in your life where you have the most pain, is where you can actually go and help other people to set them free. And obesity has been a terror on my life. So I think that I can help other people if I'm able to overcome it. As I'm overcoming it, I can help you do the same thing. So I'm glad to be back in my show. Week 45 of The Biggest Loser Rejects, Josh Moran weighed in at a starting 256 last week. Making a Biggest Loser Rejects record of 8 pounds of weight loss. And today, here we go. I am predicting after a tough week that Josh will lose 2 pounds. Let's see how it works out. Yeah, sorry, Sam. 2 pounds, dude! Yeah! Quincy Moran, Josh let the whole world down. Nobody could see what you were last week. 283 last week. Let's see what he is this week, week 45. Um, now. I'm not even gonna look. I'm just gonna let you. Shut look. up, dude, you freaking sissy. This is week 45. No. You lost six freaking pounds. Six freaking pounds, dude. So the thing about it is, is that every once in a while, you and I tend to get... Quincy, who is that guy? <laughs> That's who I'm going to introduce you to. It'll be just a minute. I'll get Did it. you get him from the Walmart parking lot? No. No. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to none other than Uncle Skimmy. All right. What's going on, Uncle Skip Skippy? I am a man of I am a what in the hell is he talking about? Who's your shout out for? My shout out goes to our cousin David Byers. If you ever get to watch this video, you got a shout out, homie. We love you. You're going to do it. Who's your shout out to? Today, my shout out. I wanted to share with our viewers that sometimes you can find a great deal of healing if you go to the past and make those things better. Now, don't spend too much time in the past because what really matters is forward. But I wanted to talk to you guys about a time when I was two. And it started... How long is this going to take? Because... I know, it's getting late. Um, it'll just take a few minutes. Okay. So, back when I was two, I remember... Dreams. Two. You remember stuff. Yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. I remember... So that takes me dream. to a time when I was four. And I remember this specific time when I was four years old, when two. I had this chocolate two cake for my two, birthday. Four. And chocolate blah. cake. Chocolate I could eat blah, chocolate blah, blah. cake every day. That would be amazing. And I was standing there in the middle of the rain thinking, if I just had a hot dog... And there's one time when I was 10. Man, it was really terrible. It was terrible. I, uh, I went to the gym and I had to climb up on stage and I didn't want to take the steps. The gym. And there was this one skinny kid that ran and whoop, right up on the stage and I got my little meat hawks running. <laughs> belly swishing around, swishing around. People. I had to jump up on stage. My Ooh, as far as I could jump in. <laughs> I got caught in the gut. Those numbers just pounds. don't add up. Those yeah. just don't add up. I know. I can tell this is helping you, Josh. I mean, I feel good about getting it out. Me too, man. Uh, and this one time when I was 12, 
we were all weighing in. I just, I didn't want to get on the scale because I knew I was just, I knew it was going to be bad news. Bad news, like the bad news bears. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I got on the scale and the, and the guy was like 196 and I was like, oh, 196. And the person taking the weight was like, how much was it again? And the coach yelled like, 196. I looked like a beached whale. Anyway, that kind of brings me to now, so I'm glad I could uh, get all that out.